Welcome into a Tuesday edition of Hitting Hard with John Chuckery. Today on the show, any surprise cuts coming from the Falcons? I wouldn't be opposed to an IL stint, and it's going to be a long season for Georgia Tech. It's all next. Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta. This is Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, part of Locked On Sports Atlanta, and it starts now. We welcome you in on this Tuesday morning to another edition of Hitting Hard with John Chuckery here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Head to youtube.com, put Locked On Sports Atlanta in your search browser. Hit that subscribe button when you get to our page. Leave us a comment. Free and available to download on all your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Leave us a five-star review there as well. And, of course, follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. Well, the Falcons cuts as we're recording this here about 10 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday morning. We're already starting to get several notifications about Falcons cuts. Caleb Huntry's being released. Kadri Allison. Now, let me preface this all by saying that you're certainly going to have some of these guys, not all, but some guys that are going to get moved over to the practice squad. You have to cut them first. They go through a waiver process, and then you assign them to your practice squad. Okay, so we all got how the process works. So Caleb Huntley, Stanley Berryhill, um, offensive lineman Justin Schaefer that they just drafted. Um, didn't y'all tell me he was going to start at left? Anyway, that's all right. That's fine. I'm uh, not sure where all that came from. But anyway, Huntley Allison is being uh, released. The legendary Frank Darby, who if he was one-tenth the player that his legend has become as an Atlanta Falcon, because for like two years now, all I've heard about is all the things Frank Darby can do. He can stretch the field, he can do this, do that, whatever like that. Okay, well, as of right now, the only thing he's trying to do is latch on uh, to a roster um, right now. So we're getting a lot of fast and furious moves from the Atlanta Falcons. And, of course, by 4 o'clock today, they have to be at the 53-man roster. Are there going to be any surprises today? So far, nobody really much of a surprise. I, I think based upon Barry Hill and based upon Darby, I think we can guarantee that Jared Bernhardt is going to be on the 53-man roster. And we've talked about Bernhardt. He's a converted lacrosse player, right? He was the Heisman equivalent of a lacrosse player at Maryland, transferred out of the program, played football, a division, whatever, three school, led them, and has become a football player now. But I always go back. I, I say this all the time about Jared Bernhardt. Jim Ross, the legendary wrestling announcer, always says, maximize your minutes, right? When you get a chance on TV or in the ring or whatever, maximize your minutes. That's Jared Bernhardt. Every time he got on the field in preseason, he did what was asked of him, and he made a play, right? Caught the game-winning touchdown in preseason game one, just made play after play. Does that mean Jared Bernhardt's going to be a big part of the offense? In this end? No. But when you talk about how do I make a team, make a play when your number's called, get yourself on the field, maximize your minutes, make a play on special teams, right? Because that's how a lot of these guys at the bottom of the roster – are going to have to make their bones just through special teams. So Bernhard, I do believe, is going to make the roster now, especially after Barry Hill and Frank Darby have been released. If, and I'll say if, I, I let me put, I'll put it more like this. I would not be surprised if Jalen Mayfield is given an injury settlement and released from the team. Now, he wasn't at practice yesterday. He's been dealing with injuries. He's been dealing with a back issue and some things going on, right, that he's been fighting, scratching, clawing. And for a guy, to be honest with you, that we already know isn't going to start at all, I wonder about whether or not if they won't just do a medical settlement with Jalen Mayfield and release him. I think that's completely in play for them to do. So if there is going to be one surprise, I think it might be Jalen Mayfield. I don't even think that they would put him on the practice squad, to be honest with you. I, I think if they let him go, then they let him go. Now, we'll talk more about this in just a second. But first, let me talk about my friends over at Dave. You know the banking app. Listen, we all know you get a little bit crunched for money. Times are tougher out there, right? Inflation running wild. You know, gas prices are still through the roof. I mean, even coming down right now, gas prices are extremely high. Food's extremely high. You're looking to need a little bit of extra money to get you through the month, right? Well, we've got a way to handle that. 
Dave is the app for you. So download the Dave app. That's D-A-V-E. Download the Dave app in your favorite app store right now. And when you download that, I want you to sign up for the extra cash account where you could get as much as, are you ready? $500 instantly. Okay. Sign up for the extra cash account after you download the Dave, D-A-V-E app, and you could get $500 instantly by signing up for their extra cash account. Now, terms and conditions, if you want to read those, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve, member FDIC. But you need a little bit of cash, head over to Dave, download that app, and put the extra cash account on. You might have a little bit of extra money coming to you. Now, the other guy who could potentially be another injury settlement is Marlon Davidson. And what happens is when guys get hurt, right? Part of what you do is you come up with a cash buyout plan for guys and you release them. And, you know, because they're hurt, they get some money in this. End. So if there are two guys to really watch today and see if they don't use the term injury settlement with them is Jalen Mayfield and Marlon Davidson. Now, Davidson might be a guy that they want to bring back on the practice squad, but again, he's going to have to go through a waiver process. So, you know, there's definitely a chance that if they do let those guys go, one or both those guys could get picked up by another team. So, you know, again, I think by and large, we have a pretty good understanding of what the 53 man is going to be. I think Felipe Franks is going to be a practice squad guy. I think they're going to release him and bring him back on the practice squad. The other thing that I'm not going to be surprised about either is if the Falcons go out and get an additional quarterback to stash on the practice squad. You just if Felipe Franks is truly converting to tight end and and listen, okay, nobody in the NFL talks about emergency quarterbacks. You either can play quarterback or you can't. You know, it, it, emergency quarterback means everybody on your roster got hurt, including, you know, your wide receivers and people like that, right? Like if, if you had to put Muhammad Sanu in at quarterback, that's because everybody on your roster got plowed over and can't play. Okay. That's where you go to emergency quarterback in the NFL. When your punter or wide receiver has to go under center, you're not keeping a guy because he's an emergency quarterback. Nobody does that in the NFL. You, if you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you're either legitimately a quarterback or you're not. So I think that the Falcons, I would not be surprised if they go out and find a quarterback to stash on their practice squad just for backup plan if needed out there. And I think Franks will get his shot on the practice squad, but I don't think he'll make the 53-man roster when all is said and done. So by and large, I think we have a pretty good handle after what we've watched through preseason, after some of the guys – that have been cut. The wide receiver room looks like it's kind of shook itself out. You know, it looks like Damian Williams is going to be the running back, right, with Allison and Huntley being cut because we know Avery Williams is going to be on the 53, man, because he's your return guy. Patterson's going to be on your on your team. Algier is going to be on your team. Keith Smith is a fullback, but he goes in the running back room, which means that Damian Williams at this point is your other running back. And I think I do think that I think Huntley more than Allison – gets put back on the practice squad. That's where Huntley was last year. I, I've said before with Allison, and I like Allison a lot, but this felt like make or break this year for Allison. So I think he's going to be gone altogether out there. So we'll take a look at this. Obviously, tomorrow we'll have the final 53 man for now because I think that's going to change too as they look to add pieces and things like that. But Mayfield and Davidson with injury settlements are the two names to watch. All right, when we come back, I am not opposed to an IL stint. I'll explain next. Hitting hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta.